two of the fantasy football season, and he has a few kicker sleepers heading into the week. The first guy is Daniel Carlson of the Las Vegas Raiders. So Carlson, he had a good week one versus the Baltimore Ravens with 11 fantasy points, hitting a 37-yarder and a 52-yarder with three extra points. And now this week, he has a matchup at the Pittsburgh Steelers who are the type of defense they're not going to give up many touchdowns. So I think in this ball game, once again, Carlson's going to have two or three field goal attempts maybe two or three extra points. But I think the Steelers obviously are going to win this game, and they're one of the better defenses in all of football. So I like Carlson getting opportunities, like I mentioned, because they're a team that just don't give up many touchdowns. Going back the last couple seasons here is the Pittsburgh Steelers. And Carlson, they're going to have to settle for some field goals. And I think, once again, there's a possibility Carlson could reach double-digit fantasy points like he did last week. And right now, he's still available in 69% of fantasy leagues. The next kicker he's got is a sleeper this week, McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. And McPherson in week one hit a game-winning field goal to walk it off in overtime versus the Minnesota Vikings. And right now, he's available in still a whopping 95% of fantasy leagues. So he hit a 52-yarder last week, three extra points, and a 34-yarder with McPherson. So right here, he's got a matchup with the Chicago Bears. And I could see this a type of grind-out game by both teams in a way, even though we saw the Bears last week get torched for 34 points at the Los Angeles Rams. But I don't think the Cincinnati Bengal team is that explosive as obviously that Ram offense. I could see this game in the low 20s, and both field goal kickers having decent opportunities. But McPherson, he's got a big leg, and a lot of people were big on him coming out of the preseason here in Cincinnati. And he showed it up last week, like I mentioned, with the big game-winning field goal. And right here at Chicago, I think he'll get two or three field goal opportunities and a few extra points. And there's a chance, once again, he could reach double digits this week. So if you need a kicker and you don't know what option to go with, especially in deeper leagues, I don't think it's a bad play here is Evan McPherson. And the third and final kicker sleeper I got this week is Chris Boswell of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Boswell last week had a good game in that tough matchup versus the Buffalo Bills. He had a 27-yarder. 23-yarder, a 43-yarder, and two extra points in that one, which was good for 10 fantasy points. And Chris Boswell, many seasons ago, he was one of the top fantasy kickers in fantasy points. But the last couple seasons, he's fell off a little bit. He got off to a good start, like I mentioned, at Buffalo with 10 fantasy points in that game. And here versus the Vegas Raiders, I think the Steelers could come close to 30 points or past the 30-point mark in this one way. He's going to get a lot of extra points and a few field goals as well versus the Raiders in Pittsburgh here in week two. And Boswell, we know he's a good veteran. I Like I mentioned, I know he's been shaky the last couple seasons, but maybe this year he'll get things going once again. And he's also available in 86% of fantasy leagues. So that's a few kickers. If you need help at the kicking position, you could use a sleeper options that are widely available. And they definitely could be productive this week here, week two of the fantasy football season.